Ukraine was finally able to launch a successful attack inside of Russia, largely thanks to artificial intelligence. Without further ado, let's jump right into and it. This is the Altius 600. Pretty nuts, pretty nuts. Altius 600 man multi mission loitering munition, the agile launch tactically integrated unmanned system. So, this is an example of one of the AI powered weapons that is on the front lines in Ukraine right now as we're speaking. As you're watching this video, this weapon is being deployed and used by Ukrainian troops. Multi domain launch Altius provides a proven multi domain launch capability across air, land, and sea, leveraging a variety of standardized launch systems. Altius can integrate into a variety of platforms and vehicles such as the MRZR. JLTV, etc. Using AI technology, man, Altius can actually leverage the systems of existing war machines, which is absolutely nuts. As you can see, man, a variety of vehicles and platforms, and it can be launched between air, land, and sea. Basically, man, Ukraine has been using these weapons for airstrikes, reconnaissance, etc. Man, they also have obviously been using drones. We all know about the drones. We're gonna get into that a little bit later, while doubling the loitering and time range of current marketing offers. So as you can see, man, it does have a loitering range. So like I said, it can be used for reconnaissance, which is pretty nuts. Weight, it's only 27 pounds, which is pretty crazy. It can fly up to four hours. It can stand the air for up to four hours. And I believe it does use artificial intelligence for its flight plans and flight paths. Next, we have a Ukrainian company, Saker. Of course, the Ukrainian government is going to want to purchase weapons from a Ukrainian company. So that is where Saker comes in, man. They created the Saker drone. Open UAV drone platforms with AI capabilities for autonomous missions. And we have actually seen these drones being used in the battlefield recently as of three days ago. These drones are able to attack helicopters, carry warheads, and also just carry out reconnaissance missions, which is one of the main things that they're used for. It's pretty OP on the Ukrainian side. The only thing is they don't have enough soldiers. So that's the only thing that's keeping Russia really like in the lead is that they have way more soldiers. It's pretty nuts, man. These are not manned systems. These are drones that are powered by AI. Obviously, some of the drones, a lot of them are powered by humans, but even then, that's an unmanned device, which is huge, man, to reduce casualties. Another loitering munition that is being used in Ukraine right now is the Switchblade 300 Block 20. It only weighs four pounds. It's lightweight, miniature, precision-guided lethal missile and can develop in less than two minutes via tube launch from land, sea, or mobile platforms, which is nuts. Absolutely nuts. It says delivering 20 plus minutes of tactical reconnaissance, surveillance, and RSTA. The Switchblade 300 provides a real-time video for use against beyond line of sight targets and its open architecture system allows it to interface with external C2 systems. Integration into other technologies, into other systems, you just have to have that interoperability. You have to be able to connect with other systems. That's just how it is nowadays. AI does help power the GPS coordinates, help with situational awareness, information collection, targeting, feature objection and recognition, etc. So these AI weapons are very, very OP. Obviously they are in the early stage, man. Think about from 10 years from now, this is gonna be way, way more nuts. But um, as you can see, man, Aero Environment, I believe this is also an American company. So we have two American companies. So we have two American companies, one Ukrainian company. Obviously there are way, way, obviously there are way more companies who are contributing to this war on both sides. But these are the two main companies that we're seeing in the news. Andrew, it's a twin turbojet VTOL autonomous air vehicle. The Roadrunner is a reusable vertical takeoff landing operator supervised autonomous air vehicle. A very, very huge mouthful, but as you can see, man, this is the Roadrunner in action. Looks sick. And this is autonomous, so it is not powered by humans. Pretty nuts. And launch, loiter, and return to base. Vertical takeoff and landing capability gives the Roadrunner flexibility to rapidly launch from and return to any location for recovery and reuse at near zero cost. As far as autonomy, it leverages cutting edge advancements in AI and autonomy to enable a single operator to supervise many Roadrunners simultaneously, which is pretty nuts. 
So yeah, man, this is the Roadrunner. There are no confirmations that this weapon is being used in Ukraine right now, but we can only imagine, man. I would say it's about a 60% chance that this is on the front lines right now being used. Like I said, there's no confirmation, so we really don't know. I would not be surprised. That's the road runner. The road runner. They're advertising it as an air defense system, which is nuts, bro. Obviously, this can most likely also be used to carry out attacks, and drones are taking over the entire war. Drones are just having their way. People are making drones at their own house and having a crazy effect on the war. The same effect as a tank would, which is crazy. Without further ado, man, Creator Palm family, thank you guys for tuning in. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. As you can see here, man, Andrew also has lattice solutions, force protection, air systems, underwater vehicles, rocket motors, pretty nuts. But without further ado, man, this is not a political channel, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more AI and tech news. Without further ado, I'm out. CEO of ChatGPT OpenAI. So man, I'm looking at the support line at front end, back end, and full stack. This would it be $7,136,000.